With so many big companies dominating the whiskey business, should we care about the little guys? Stick around after this. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vin Pf, and today we're going to be checking out a small, independently owned, family owned distillery, and that's Glen Farkless. And this time around we're going to be checking out the 105 cask strength. Now this um, monster is bottled at 60%. All the good stuff, I believe, no added colour, no chill filtration. And this one came from my subscription to the Dram team. Link in the description if you want to check them out. Now these guys, like I said before, are family owned, independent business. They only own the one distillery. They've owned it since the family bought it from the original owners way back in the 1800s. Uh, they've denied many, many, many offers to buy the distillery because they make pretty good stuff and they want to keep it that way. They do everything in-house, they store, they mature, they um, obviously distill all in the same place and uh, they kind of, they want to bring that to their, their drinks. Now it's a Speyside whiskey, which is, it is here, somewhere around there on my little map. But this isn't your typical Speyside. You know, Speysides are kind of generally kind of light, apples, that kind of fruit, kind of kind of very easy drinking stuff. Uh, much like the Tom and Towel. I actually don't have my thing here anymore. Never mind. Um, so this is a little bit different. Glen Flarkus, they love their sherry casks. And this one is no exception. It's first fill sherry casks and this is, I say, cask strength. So although it's not single barrel, it's a marriage of all of the batch that's out that time. But this is this is quite available as well. It's about sort of 50 quid even still for a cask strength that isn't kind of special release. It, you know, it's it's pretty good going. There's a little closer look at the colour. Very nice. Let's go in for a nose and see where we are. Now this is one, before we go into it properly, this is one you're definitely going to want to leave to sit. If you pour this out of the bottle, 60%, go straight in for a nose, you're going to get burnt. Literally, your nose hairs are going to get burnt. Ah, now, you, yeah, you're getting that sherry influence. Obviously a lot of alcohol in there, 60% is a, a good strong one. Fans of the show will know I don't add water to mine but I would not, never begrudge somebody for adding water to something like this. This is um, it's very strong, dilute it to your own taste. It's 50 quid, so if you go too far, then you can always pour another one. It's not a problem. Sherry influence, definitely there. Oakiness. And you're getting a few of those kind of green apple pears kind of flavors coming through on the back. Let's have a taste. Whoa, blimey, no, I like strong ABVs. Love cast strength. That's a real kicker, that is. You get a couple of seconds of the kind of sherry oak, then the alcohol comes across you. And it's 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 strong, but it's like an, in a really good way. Now if, you're, if you know you're not into your high ABV whiskies, this is definitely gonna be too strong for you. But that said, you know, if you've had other cask strengths, like um, Glen Goyne and things like that, then this is going to be right up your street. Mm. Getting a lot of that oak, dark fruits, that sort of thing. Not quite dark fruits as you'd get on the kind of Christmas cakes that we've seen on some sherries that we've had in the past. But it's, it's there, it's there. It's also got like a really long finish, and it's one of those like because it's so strong. It's one of those ones you can feel all the way down. This is perfect for sharing with friends, kind of weekends drams. I've got a few cask strengths, and I I always say the difference between like an everyday dram, weekend dram. This isn't your kind of Wednesday night dram. You know, you're not going to sit there watching the telly, whatever with something quite this strong. You want to sit there, relax, nice and enjoyable. This is definitely enjoyable, but it's, it takes some effort to drink it, you know? 
Hmm. Yeah, considering it's so strong, considering its cast strength, it's incredibly well balanced from start to finish. Nose, palette, finish, all perfect. This has been bottled at the exact right time. And uh, I can't I can't say enough about it. If I scored, then this would be right up there in the kind of nines and almost perfect whiskey for me. You guys know I love a sherry dram, but you know I get bitten by the sherry dram because my um, the sulfur comes out in in the sherry sometimes where they use them um, sherry candles, so sulfur candles to dry out the sherry casks. None of that in this. Absolutely superb. Mm. Wow, I don't know if you can tell, but I really like that. And it's 50 quid. I think I need to get a bottle of that. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. That's my first time trying it outside of a festival. Come with um, Dram Team. Here's the, the bottle and their thing. Check them out. They send me five samples and a little ditty one every month. And it's, uh, I think it's 25 quid I pay for that. Absolutely brilliant service. I get to try loads of things from all over the world that I probably wouldn't buy. Generally speaking, I stick to sort of 30, 40, 50 quid mark for my average drinking bottles. This pushes the limit of that a little bit. So it's good to try samples of these things so that you can try them before you just splurge 50 quid, especially on something that you're not sure if you're going to like. 60 quid, um, 50 quid for a 60%. It's, it's a gamble, you know, if, you, if you're not sure if you're not going to like it or not, it's a gamble. But I'd say, based on my palette, if you like your sherry cask, if you like, even if you don't like cask strength, because you can water this down if you want. I can't see anything wrong with that. It'll definitely come down. I imagine it would open up. I'm not going to do it today. You guys, you guys know I don't do that. But feel free to give it a go. Brilliant. There you go. That's the end of the uh, Glen Farkless 105 cask strength. A pretty good dram there, and I highly recommend it. Please um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, click on some of the links that will pop up, check the description below and there will be some other stuff down there you can have a look at. And I'll see you again on another No Nonsense Whiskey review.